Hello guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how you can get used to Clipchem. This is a very great tool to create, to edit your videos. And this is totally for free. This is part of Microsoft. So Clipchem, I'm not pretty sure if this was before from or not Microsoft, but now these guys have now been added successfully. So if you want to try this application totally for free, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can download the application totally for free. If you do have a Microsoft account, you might be seeing that inside your Asus um, computer, you might be having the Clipchamp already created, already added into your uh, applications. Or you can go into your Microsoft store, which is actually in here. You can go into the search bar. Here you want to tap for the Microsoft store. And in here, you want to look for a uh, clip champ like this. So I'm going to hit into the enter. And lastly, what I just need to do is to, is to actually install the application. Really, really easy. After that, you want to go into the X mark, go into the search bar, and I want to go for clip champ. So here it is, my clip champ video editor. I just need to hit into open. If there's any issue, you can always open that as an administrator and you can always go into continue. Now, in this case, it's going to be asking for sign it in. So what I want to do is to continue with my Microsoft account. So it's going to be asking for a usage of this account. I'm going to hit into continue. If you don't have a Microsoft account, it's going to be really, really easy to uh, create an account. So I'm going to hit into make sure it's you. We need to verify your identity for an email. I'm going to hit into continue, just a moment. And just like that, we are inside of Clipchamp provided by Microsoft. So how we can get started here into the clip chimp is going to be really, really easy. We can have some templates if you want to add some YouTube videos, if you want to create some social media ads, if you want to do videos for gaming, events and holiday, Christmas templates, slideshows, TikToks, even TikToks, social handles, video mimic, celebration, marketing, and so much more and more. So what I do want to do in order to get started so we can understand how this great, great tool of the clip chimp works, let's say I want to look for a template that can be helping me with some Instagram videos. Let's try to do something with TikTok. Because TikTok, some, uh, so far I think it's like a boom into these days. So I do have different templates that I can choose. Black Friday sale, what I eat in a day, before and after. We have some BH TikTok. We do have some Cyber Mondays. These are just for adding some stuff. And depending on the tools that you want to use, you can select templates that are available in here. I'm going to be choosing something easy like this. Like this is just a block of TikTok. But I want to use this template. As you can see, we do have the 14 seconds and the 9 16 ratio. This one are the templates that are required for TikTok in order to have a really success video. So I'm going to get into use this template. And here I have the editor. And as you can see, these are all the tools that I can use that all the videos that were created are now being successfully added. So I just need to wait into the importing. Here, as you can see, I have the watermarked. If I do want to remove uh, my watermarks, I of course need to upgrade my plan of the claim jump in order to don't see these um this watermark and if you want to upgrade those hit into upgrade and you might be seeing that you might be having a free plan and essential plan so it's speaking about an essential the difference here is that you have some premium stock you have premium filters and effects you do have a single brand and there's some content backup in order that to save your own videos and certain stuff. If you don't want to stay only for the um, the watermark option here, I think that the beginners it's going to be really really uh, easy. So here I do want to click into the X mark, hit into what marked, and here I'm going to hit into play to see how it's going to be looking my video. All right, so. As you can see, I do have something like really, really easy. I want to click into this audio. I'm going to make the volume look like this. And here what I can do is to import my own stuff. Let's say, for example, that I don't want to see 
um, I want to edit and replace this video. So what I can do is to go into record and create. And here into record and create, I can choose the option that says camera recording, screen and camera if you want to add some media. If you don't, you can always choose stock video to see what are free to use. I'm going to go into free to use. Let's say, for example, that I love this one. I kind of like that. And what I want to do is to look for something that I can use for this video. So I'm going to just pop a little bit down, down and down like this and I just need to drag and drop like this and then what I want to do is to click in here go into split I can delete this other stuff I can hit into delete and what I just need to do is to drag my videos to match with the text that I have up in here so my new video looks like this so as you can see, we do have the importing button. What I need to do, of course, is to rotate my video to see this into fully like this. There we go. And I'm going to hit into play to take a look into how it's going to be looking. And there we go. Really easy, right? So after that, if I want to, let's say I'm going to fail this. If you think that you have successfully done everything, let's say, for example, that I don't like to see this um, volume or this song, I'm going to just delete that. I'm going to hit into music and sound effects. And what I want to do is to look for free to use. I'm going to hit into no filter drop, for example, and just going to drag and drop as we did before with the other media. And in here, I can control the audio of this uh, song. So I'm going to just wait a couple of seconds until this has been loaded successfully. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to hit into play. And once I have successfully finished that, I want to look for the very last part of my video. Let's say I want to leave it like this. Hit into the S keyword. And there we go. So here's my video. Lastly, if I want to make some transitions, let's say I want to go into transitions. I want to go for crossfade with this one fade out and I want to just leave it like like this and see if this one has been added successfully. There we go. Here is my faded already added. And lastly, I can go into the very first part. I'm going to hit like this. I'm going to hit into export. And what I want to do is to hit into continue anyway. In this portion, I we have the visual gap in your video. This is a visual gap that we can delete. So I'm going to go back and fix it. As you can see, this is the gap that we that we we're talking before. So what I want to do is to zoom a little bit. And here I want to edit that like this and like this. After that, I'm going to hit into export and hit into continue. So as you can see, in order to export, what I need to do, of course, is to choose the video quality. And I want to choose this 720 watermark because we don't have a plan yet. I want to hit into continue and I just need to wait a couple of seconds till my video has been exported successfully. And just like that, my video is now going to be created successfully. Inside the application, we can share this into TikTok automatically if you do want to send this right away into TikTok. So you have the avoid part to send this into your phone and to upload that. Really, really easy to do that. So we can do so much more into ClipChamp. So hopefully, guys, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools about the ClipChamp. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, I will see you on the next video.